In today's video, we're going to talk about some interesting facts about lop-eared rabbits. Caring for a pet rabbit involves ensuring a proper and complete diet, cleaning and maintaining the rabbit's living area, and grooming the rabbit so that it stays clean and healthy. Rabbits live for at least 5 to 10 years, and they need grooming, feeding, and exercise. Raising a rabbit involves maintaining the cleanliness of the hutch. Choosing a small rabbit breed does not mean that the rabbit requires less maintenance. Moreover, rabbits are normally very timid and shy, and hence very sensitive to the presence of other pets like dogs or cats. One of the most lovable rabbit breeds is the lop-eared rabbit. It is easier to spot a lop-eared rabbit from a bunch of rabbits because this breed is very recognizable because of its very large and floppy ears. These ears are so large that they hung to the floor when the rabbit sits or when it stands. Many are fond of lop-eared rabbits because of their appearance, but there is more to this breed, not just about its long ears. To better understand what a lop-eared rabbit is, here are some very interesting and fun facts to help you out. Lop-eared rabbits are available in many varieties. Most of the rabbit breeds included in the list of the ARBA or the American Rabbit Breeders Association and the BRC or the British Rabbit Council have erect ears, 15% of the breeds are lop-eared. At present, the following are lop-eared rabbit breeds recognized by the two governing bodies. American Fuzzy Lop Cashmere Lop Canadian Plush Lop Dwarf Lop English Lop French Lop German Lop Holland Lop Meissner Lop Mini Lop Miniature Cashmere Lop Miniature Lop Plush Lop Teddy Witter Velveteen Lop All these rabbit breeds have unique individual characteristics like their sizes, colors, and body size, but the unifying factor is their drooping ears. Large lop-eared rabbits are very prone to debris. Some lop-eared rabbits like the large French Lop may have ears that extend to the ground. The original Lop is another breed that seems to sweep the ground using its gigantic dropping ears. And because of this, the ears are very prone to dirt and debris. Sometimes, this dirt can accumulate inside the rabbit's ears and, when overlooked, can lead to impaction and infection. Having large ears is the reason for bruises and scratches on the ears too, especially when a lop-eared rabbit stays in a cage or enclosure with other rabbits. This is unavoidable, but you can prevent this from happening by cleaning up and by checking your pet's lop-eared ears for any debris. Lop-eared rabbit with the largest ear. When it comes to size, lop-eared rabbits vary dramatically. There are very large breeds, and there are dwarf breeds, but when size matters, the largest in the French lop. The French lop was the result of combining two large breeds of lops and was created in France. The French lop can weigh around 10 pounds and thus are very heavy. If you were to pick up a French lop, you need to place it back on the ground because it's very heavy. When it comes to ear length, French lops have ears that usually hang below the rabbit's jaw and can be as long as a foot. The ears are very noticeable and are usually pointed downwards with the inner portion of the ears facing the body. French lops are large and thus must be housed outdoors inside an enclosure. The enclosure must be large enough to hold more than one rabbit because, just like other breeds, French lops are very social and thus needs a lot of companions. French lops also need a large enclosure so they can exercise. The French Lop is the most common domesticated rabbit breed because of its very patient and social behavior. Smallest Lop-Eared Rabbit Breed The smallest lop-eared rabbit breed is the Mini Lop. This breed should not be confused with other similar breeds like the Dwarf Lop from the United Kingdom. The Mini Lop is the smallest lop breeds in the United States and is very popular during shows and can weigh more than 6 pounds. Because of their size, housing the Mini Lop may not be worrisome as a French Lop. It can be kept indoors or outdoors in a smaller cage or enclosure. And feeding and caring for a small lop-eared rabbit breed is similar to a large breed. The Mini Lop Rabbit Club of America recognizes the Mini Lop as easy to care for and is commonly found in most rabbit-loving homes. Laziest Lop-Eared Rabbit Breed It's hard to move with large and heavy ears, but when it comes to the lop with the laziest attitude, the original lop wins. This breed is known as one of the pre-existing rabbit breeds that were used to create French lops. Original lops can grow up to 11 pounds. Because of their weight, the original lops have become inactive and are commonly affected by obesity. Obesity causes different health conditions, including hypertension. To manage your pet's weight, and to prevent obesity, place it in a large cage where it can roam around and exercise. Having a companion also helps your pet to stay fit because it will surely play with its companions inside its cage. When it comes to the original lops ears, these can stretch around 20 inches in length. This is known as the largest of most rabbit breeds. Another impressive trivia about the original rabbit breed is that by the time the rabbit is 4 weeks old, 
it will have ears that are even longer than its body. Fuzziest Lop-Eared Rabbit Breed The lop-eared rabbit may vary in the type of hair or fur that it has. The short but luxurious wool makes the American Fuzzy Lop look better than a Holland Lop. A mature American Fuzzy Lop can weigh up to 4 pounds and have a very compact body. It may look like a Holland Lop, but except for its coat, that is comparable to an Angora. Because of the very thick and fluffy hair, the American Fuzzy Lop may need to be taken to a groomer more than the other breeds. You must make sure that you're committed to caring for a rabbit more closely than other breeds if you take an American Fuzzy Lop in. Most Playful Lop-Eared Rabbit Breed Despite having very long ears, lops are also known to play hard. These rabbits will hop, skip, and jump to anything, even over their playmates. And if there is an award for the most playful, the Angora Rabbit is a sure winner. An Angora is a combination of a Holland Lop and an Angora Rabbit, and hence, these rabbits are large and have very fuzzy and smooth hair. These are very playful and have a loving and happy personality. This rabbit also enjoys companionship with their cage mates and other people as well. The wool of an Angora rabbit is harvested to make all kinds of products. When kept as pets, you must shear your pet to keep its fur clean and well maintained. When the fur of this rabbit is overlooked, the fur can develop knots and debris that are too hard to remove. Friendliest Lop-Eared Rabbit Breed If there is an award for miscongeniality for a mini lop, the true dwarf is our best bet. It is known as the ideal house pet because they are very friendly and will never display any aggressive attitude towards other rabbits and to their human companions. This breed does not have fur or hair on its bodies but has wool instead. The true dwarf is small and therefore makes good house pets. These are popular rabbits for young children because of their small size. Lop-eared rabbits can't raise their ears in the air. Most lop-eared rabbits have very long and heavy ears, which are often hard to remain upright. Rabbits use their ears to express their emotions and their inquisitiveness. If your bunny's ears are up or if these are twitching, then they may be listening to sounds and are alert. If the rabbit is relaxing, then usually the ears are down and are touching. The lop-eared rabbit with large ears may be unable to do these and may use other adaptive behavior instead. Lop-eared rabbits have a bulge on their heads. Because of the extra cartilage located in the rabbit's ears, the head of most lops has a small bulge. This part is also called the crown and is very prominent except the English lop. A rabbit's ear has blood vessels found near the surface. This is possible even in a climate where it's cooler. And the reason why ears droop is that the weight of the ear is not supported by the rest of the structure, and thus, the ears droop. In the case of young lop-eared rabbits, it can take time for juveniles to achieve the full droop that adults have, and usually, this happens until the ear growth is complete. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.